Hey, good bucks here. So, a lot to talk about today. So many different topics. So, this is going to kind of be like a, a rundown of everything mutt in the past day. Looking forward to Zero Chill. Of course, we got a bunch of new teasers. We'll talk about leveling. The best way to do that as, as a new solo has revealed itself as the most efficient one to level with. Easiest on the brain. We'll talk about, uh, you know, maybe touch a little bit on what, what's coming with the Christmas promo. The loading screens, the NFL linemen, and uh, it's maybe, I don't know, more speculation there with what's coming forward. So, tomorrow night, I just want to let, let up front, EA is going to have their stream at 8 p.m. Eastern to go over Zero Chill. So, we're getting it Monday morning, as revealed also by this uh, Megatron type teaser. Wait, you guys got to see it. Megatron type teaser uh, from Man Ultimate Team Zero Chill. It says date and time, Monday, December 16th, 10 a.m. So, uh, basically confirmed. Now, the weird thing with uh, Zero Chill is we do expect some more airs, right? We just lost an entire day of Madden. And nothing revealed itself, our community, and our deepest, darkest secret that we're actually secretly in love, addicted, whatever we want to call it, with the game of Madden Ultimate Team. Because everything else worked. But Ultimate Team didn't. And we were like, oh, crap. What am I supposed to do? Play regs now? Draft a franchise? So a lot of us were kind of out in the cold, sadly. Uh, but hopefully Megatron and some of the other Zero Chill guys will heat us up. So overall, my thoughts on the server situation. It's weird because this one wasn't hardware related, right? It wasn't the actual servers overloading. It was their software. It was their, their challenges not working. Their stuff that just wasn't counting an ultimate team. So it's not like it was like a DDoS like we've seen in, in Christmas as a past where they throw somebody in jail after they basically shut down uh, gaming on that day. It was actually just, you know, Ultimate Team software itself. So, I don't know. They stayed up till, what, 3 a.m. Eastern, their time. Uh, we saw Crelo on Twitter until that time, uh, tweeting out that it's now working. So, it's unfortunate that we lost a day to uh, shoddy coding and mutt or something happened with the series changeover. But it's not like we're exactly new to this. This has happened before. EA, I really hope you guys figure out what's went wrong and how do you change this going forward with the series changeover. I still see somebody in my Twitch stream said, hey, I'm still getting season three trophies for getting wins and, and season stuff. I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. T tag Kralo. So if you guys have any more issues with funkiness with this, uh, definitely tag Kralo. But I want to get back to this front page. So this just recently switched just minutes ago to 32 degrees. Now, we don't know what that means. Degrees, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's the kindling with how hot it gets. Maybe it is players and their jersey numbers. So if we look through like, because previously we had 78 degrees and it was like red and there was fireworks, a little bit of blue in there. So we're thinking like, Maybe, I don't know. This one's like blue and less splashy red, but those are like Christmas colors, right? So like when we look through, maybe they're teases for players that are coming out. We look through like the best Hall of Famers, 78. Uh, we already have uh, Bell, Jones, Munoz. We got Shell Slater. Then Bruce Smith makes a lot of sense too, as he's traditionally in this game. And I think he's got a Christmas card in the past. So Bruce Smith is there. Otherwise, for right now, 32 degrees. The number one, everybody wants him. OJ Simpson wore number 32, but uh, also Franco Harris. So <laughs> if it is numbers of players, maybe Marcus Allen, um, uh, Jim Brown, who we already got in the game though, but maybe, maybe OJ, probably not. So that's zero chill. Okay, Zero Chill, we went over a lot on Monday about what to expect with alternate currency. We know we're getting the kindling fire alternate currency. We're going to hope to see if we can find some arbitrage opportunities to take advantage of the market. Um, and... Uh, with the auto upload with Christmas, hopefully there'll be some glitches we can take advantage of too to uh, get us some coins. So you want to know, hey, what's the what's the leveling tip? Where 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 is the best way of gaining levels? I did a little bit last night before this launched actually. Now I'm gonna do it again today. But basically what I'm hearing and the whole community's talking about the NFL 100. When you go into this stuff, you go into whoa, it like flew by, crazy. All right, all right, all right. There is a kicker. Wait, no, it wasn't the game. What am I talking about? It wasn't the game. I just didn't do it last night. The kicker Vinatieri one, where all you do is kick a field goal. You score a 40-plus yard field goal, and then you just redo that over and over. It is mindless. You should be able to basically focus on your other screen while you're doing the other uh, on, on, the, on your right screen. That's perfect. That's why I like those mindless solos. Like A lot of people are saying the Mutt Hero solos for 220 that I went through last time. That one takes too much effort. You got to do like hot routes. You got to make reads. and like That's fine if you're streaming and doing it. But if you're actually just like kind of chilling, watching Netflix or something, watching your favorite streamer, Gut Fox, on the other stream, or as Chatterbait, then you will want to kind of like not take your eyes off the screen. So, because you never know what I'm going to jump at you. Dumb. But, uh, 
That's kind of what I recommend is just kick field goals over and over until you get to level 80. I, I hate EA's leveling system so much. It's so dumb. It's so mindless. There's no respect for getting the top level because all you do is grind for like two hours and you're at the highest level. It's not like it's not like an LB the show where you actually had to like, you know, get there and earn it by playing head to head instead of repeating the same mindless stuff over and over. Anyways, um, yeah, NFL 100, Lyman. So let me put on your screen right now a couple of clips of what happened to the one offensive lineman that I got. I got Bruce Matthews, the only one of the bunch. I also got Tony Gonzalez. You'll see him on my second channel. Check out that uh, for Tony G gameplay. Um, Gut Fox 2 in the link in the description. Uh, it's just disgusting as Bruce Matthews is sitting right there with a guy right over his face. He like goes and takes the guy on the outside and lets a B gap or an A gap get through and sack my quarterback. I don't know why there's no nano detection. They said they put it in. I don't know where it, or where it went. But I got nano essentially because Bruce Matthews is a fucking idiot. I had enough blockers. But this is why NFL 100 linemen, and it was, it was an absolute terrible weekend for Mott, right? They, they didn't bring out any new names. These are basically rehashed legends that we have before. Sure, they might be new to this game or whatever. I don't know. But still, it just it, NFL 100 really let me down. They didn't bring in guys like Forrest Gregg. They didn't bring in like the old school, better tight ends. We didn't get any type of Mackey. I mean, Mackey was, what, five years ago was the last time we had him? Like They could have brought in so many other different names that we haven't had in Mutt, but... They decided to rest on the laurels and just bring out the same offensive lineman we have had, had. So, NFL 100, linemen don't really matter in this game as they're just going to miss blocks anyways. But uh, to a certain extent, they do due to block shed. So, they do and they don't. It's always the last thing I recommend upgrading in Madden Ultimate Team is your offensive line. Uh, because, as you see, they just, just mess up over and over. So, um, oh, one more thing about the market is we did see a crash when the series changed over yesterday. Really before a lot of those server issues happened. It crashed down, except for the 89s. Those went up as predicted. So uh, hopefully you guys got a few 89s um, before the exchange set came in. You sold a little bit, made a little bit of profit there. Uh, but yeah, overall the market is down. I do not expect it to keep going down. I can see it. The only reason it going up if we get like a platinum pack for, for training like we got in the past. But with new kindling, we'll see what kind of new things they give us this year. But that's resting on one year ago type of uh, content. We've gotten a blitz since then, but the blitz didn't have any platinum packs. But generally, the, the, the Christmas promo is the one that started out those training for platinum plats that took us kind of by surprise. So overall, I still recommend always holding coins. Coins are king. Sure, you'll miss out on a few th times when training will get you some uh, a, a better, uh, I guess, deals. But generally, coins will hold their value all year, whereas training won't. And, I mean, it's not a terrible idea to have like mix a little bit, have some training on hand. But overall, you do you. I think the market's still going to keep going down because it, when you look at the number of players we got last year for, like I talked about Market Monday, last year for Ghost of Man, like, I mean, look at all these 96s. Look at all these 95s. I expect these to be 95s going forward. All these ghosts that we got, they were spread out amongst the whole month of content. So this was all wasn't like one day drop. But... It, it, it was a lot and this isn't even the, these these aren't even including these 94s 93s aren't even including the actual zero chill guys we got and then uh, we also got some whoop what i do there what i do there also we got uh, snow beasts too so anyways uh what else i want to talk about Talked about trading out leveling. I talked about good luck in level 80 that tory holt is crazy the, the things that you want to put on your tory holt when you get on level 80 I'll do that while we're here. Tory Holt, like absolutely playmaker and wide receiver apprentice. They're kind of expensive, but that's because they're the best. The best ones are the most expensive one. But basically, you go at tier three, you can go either playmaker or route apprentice because they both are available at tier two also. So playmaker, route apprentice, and uh, basically go back to the Madden 19, 18, 17 meta of just running uh, playmaker over and over. I can't do it right here on this guy because he's only a 95. I don't have him up to his highest level yet. As I'm not level 80, but they're at uh, wide receiver apprentice at 96 overall. Pretty glitchy, Tory Holt. I expect you to see a lot more, hopefully, with him, and then with the wide receiver 100s coming next week, a lot more passing game coming up. So I hope that was good for you guys. That's all I want to talk about today. Hopefully, we got through enough uh, zero chill, loading screens, Megatron, special stream again at 8 p.m. Eastern. And there it is. I just, I, I just, I don't know why there's always issues with this game. I, I really wish they would be better. But, you know, nobody's perfect and EA isn't even close to it. So, enjoy. Good luck leveling. Good luck getting your guys over the next few days. And uh, I'll have some more Christmas-related content out tomorrow when we find out what's going on with the promo. Thanks for watching Call Action. I'll see you tomorrow.